Beneath the tranquil surface of a sleepy southern town lies a complex tapestry of morality, injustice, and the pursuit of empathy. To Kill a Mockingbird, a novel that transcends the boundaries of its time, invites us into the heart of Macon, Alabama, through the eyes of the young and inquisitive Scout Finch. As we navigate the shaded streets and whispered secrets, we uncover a story that has echoed through generations. Join us as we delve into Harper Lee's seminal work, exploring the innocence of childhood against the backdrop of racial tensions and the timeless battle between good and evil. But, before diving deep into the story, let's know a little about the author, Harper Lee. Nellie Harper Lee came into this world on April 28, 1926, in Monroeville, Alabama. She captured the essence of her era with her Pulitzer Prize-winning novel. Drawing from her own experiences growing up in the Deep South, she crafted a narrative so poignant that it continues to resonate with readers today. Her legacy, cemented by To Kill a Mockingbird, endures as a beacon of moral integrity and literary excellence. To Kill a Mockingbird is a powerful tale set in the Great Depression era in the fictional town of Macomb, Alabama. The story is told through the eyes of Scout Finch, a young girl growing up with her brother Jem and their father Atticus, a lawyer with strong moral principles. Delving into the heart of this story requires understanding its characters. First, we meet Scout Finch, our young narrator. Her innocence and curiosity guide us through the intricate tapestry of human nature. Alongside her is Jim Finch, Scout's older brother, who grapples with the harsh realities of adulthood as he matures. Their father, Atticus Finch, embodies wisdom and justice. His defense of a black man wrongly accused of a heinous crime becomes the pivotal point of the narrative. Tom Robinson serves as the embodiment of the Mockingbird an innocent victim whose fate is sealed solely by the color of his skin. Finally, there's Boo Radley, a reclusive neighbor shrouded in mystery. Throughout the story, he transforms into a symbol of kindness that was initially misunderstood. To Kill a Mockingbird is a novel that delves deep into the themes of racial injustice, moral growth, and the loss of innocence through the perspective of a young girl named Scout Finch. The story unfolds in a fictional town of Macon, Alabama, during the Great Depression. Scout lives with her older brother Jem and their widowed father Atticus, who is a well-respected lawyer. The children, along with their summer friend Dill, are fascinated by their mysterious neighbor, Boo Radley, who is rumored to be a reclusive madman. As the narrative progresses, Atticus is appointed to defend Tom Robinson, a black man falsely accused of raping a white woman, Mayela Yule. Despite clear evidence of Tom's innocence and Atticus's compelling defense, the all-white jury convicts Tom, highlighting the deep-seated racism of the community. The trial and its aftermath have a profound effect on Scout and Jim, as they witness the injustices of the adult world. They grapple with the concepts of good and evil, right and wrong, and begin to understand the complexities of human nature. Meanwhile, the children's relationship with Boo Radley evolves. They come to realize that he is not the monster that local folklore has made him out to be, but a kind and protective figure. In a dramatic turn of events, Boo saves Scout and Jim from an attack by Bob Ewell, Mayella's father who seeks revenge on Atticus for defending Tom. The novel concludes with Scout reflecting on the events that have unfolded, having gained a deeper understanding of empathy and moral integrity. She recognizes the goodness in people like Boo Radley and the importance of standing up for what is right, even when faced with societal opposition. Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird is a poignant exploration of human behavior, the innocence of childhood, and the moral dilemmas that define us. 
It remains a seminal work in American literature, offering insights into the nature of prejudice and the necessity of compassion in a world often divided by differences. To Kill a Mockingbird became an instant literary sensation. It won the Pulitzer Prize in 1961 and has sold over 40 million copies worldwide. But its impact goes far beyond sales figures. This book was published during the Civil Rights Movement, and it sparked important conversations. It gave a voice to the voiceless and challenged people to confront their prejudices. It's a reminder that empathy is essential for progress. As we close the pages of To Kill a Mockingbird, we are not left with mere words on paper, but with a challenge, a challenge to look beyond our prejudices, to find the courage to do what is right, and to remember that empathy is the greatest virtue. Harper Lee's narrative is not just a story, it is a journey that compels us to confront the shadows of our own society. Thank you for joining us in revisiting the timeless lessons of Maycomb, where the song of the Mockingbird still resonates, reminding us of the innocence we must protect. If you have come so far, don't forget to like this video and share it with your family and friends. Subscribe our channel to know more about the world of books and biographies.